Hey everybody, this is John from Rad Relics, and today I want to talk about this story that I read on the news. It's kind of weird, it's kind of morbid, but I think it does have something to do with at least the reason why I went to become a full-time reseller on eBay and owning my own brick-and-mortar store. And the main reason why I did that, because I really felt like nowhere I've ever worked in my life that anyone really ever cared about me, that they pretty much just were there to use me for for my abilities and give me a paycheck send me home and if i died before my body was cold hard and in the ground they would already be seeking somebody to replace me and recently i read a story on the interwebs about a lady that had died she worked at an office and she worked in a little cubicle and she had been dead for four whole days before somebody started smelling her deco decaying body and decided to come find her and see what that smell was they found her she'd been dead for four days and i guess they probably cleaned up the mess changed some office furniture around and she is now dead in the ground and they probably if not already found her replacement, they are probably looking uh, to find that replacement right now. And I always felt that's kind of how I felt that corporate America felt about me. And I can tell you, as a person who worked hard their whole life and never really created many problems, the only time I really ever had any problems in my work environment is if I thought my coworkers were being treated unfairly. And I always felt that I needed to defend them because I was kind of like, it was kind of like a family to me. And the thing that I realized at the end of the day, after every job that I've ever quit, I I have really never developed and cultivated any of those personal relationships with these people outside of that work environment. And that is reason why I am so glad that I finally decided to leave corporate America, to leave the jobs that I thought that were so important to me. I thought I was doing such a great job out there working, doing my little nine to five. And I decided to quit to become a full-time reseller. And I can tell you, I've been a full-time reseller since 2019 or 2017. And it was the most uh, important thing that I ever done because I never would believe in myself. I always was down on myself and I didn't think I could do it. I, as I've told you guys a lot of times, I live in a very economically depressed area. I live a, about 80 miles south of St. Louis in a little town and we do not have a lot going for us. There's not a lot of places to source, a lot of opportunity. But my wife, she told me for years, she goes, you need to quit. You need to become a full-time reseller. Believe in yourself. She believed in me. And finally, I made that decision to quit working for other people and work for myself. So I don't know. I just I'm going to make a really quick video. It ain't going to be very long today, but I know there's some people out there that are working these dead-end corporate jobs and you feel like nobody cares about you. And to be honest with you, uh, most likely they don't. Most likely, at the end of the day, when you quit that job and you move on to another job, you'll make new friends. But it'll be there's very few and far between, uh, very few relationships that you cultivate in a work environment that will be carried forward in your life. So you've got to make the decisions that are good for you. You've got to make the economic choices that are good for you so that you can live your best life because you only get one shot at this. And you're only going to get one opportunity to live. And if you do that working for someone else and you're not doing something that you're passionate about or taking an opportunity to completely just change your life, my life is totally different now than what it was whenever I worked for someone else. And I know there's going to be somebody down below that says, didn't you just make a video about people not becoming full-time resellers and yes i did and everything i said in that video is still valid and if you suck at reselling and if you haven't paid off a vast majority of your debt and if you haven't got a nice little nest egg put back so that when a rainy day comes you have money put back to fall back on then no don't don't just willy-nilly quit your job don't do that uh stay where you're at Save up some money, pay your debt down, get an inventory built up, get a thousand items listed on eBay. Make sure that you can replace that income that you're going to be losing with the income that you're going to be making from, from eBay. And if you can do that, and even in this economy, if you can do that and you can walk away from all of the benefits that your job currently has, like your vacation, your 401k, your time off, your paid time off, paid leave, and 
just the stability of having a full-time job, I can tell you that it will be the best mistake that you ever had because I don't know how many people told me, John, you're making a mistake. You're making a mistake. You're leaving this job and you are going to fail. You're going to fall on your face. And that was in 2017. Why would you leave this job that is so awesome? And because it sucked. At the end of the day, I was not happy and I wanted to do what made me happy. And here we are with me making videos on YouTube telling you guys about, you know, I'm pretty happy. I am pretty happy. And everything that I make, just because I make a video about something on YouTube, I sit around all the time thinking of things to make videos about. This is just an idea that I had. Reading a news story about a lady that fell dead in her office and nobody gave a sh crap about her and she laid there for four days like how many of people I mean, that could be me that could be you like how how horrible is that office environment to be dead for four days and nobody even care it talks it, it's really telling of the world that we live in today but hey who am i to judge you guys should like this video and you should subscribe because hey i told you to have a good day god bless